everyone so this is my fourth look for you guys in my whole Christmas series makeup looks and I wanted to do a sort of brown bronzy look for you guys this is what I came up with and I decided to do like a coral look to go with this entire eye look so this is the whole look put together and as you can see it's such a beautiful 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 makeup look this look can be worn for like let's say you have a christmas party on the job to attend or you may probably have some kind of event throughout the holiday season to attend this would be a really pretty look that you can rock and it's also great for the new year as well it's just a very festive sort of glamorous type of look in my opinion so if you guys like this look and you want to see how i went about creating it please continue watching for the tutorial so i'm going to start off by priming the eyelid area and today i will be using this is my mika beauty cosmetics and this is their eye primer you can use any of your favorite eye primer and apply that all over the entire eyelid area i am using my fingers today to apply that all over the lid so for this beautiful eye look that I'm rocking today I use all Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I also added one of her pigments as well in this look so next what I'm going to do I'm going in with the color called Frappe That's what it looked like. And I'm going to take this color with a fluffy blending brush. And this is the MAC 224. And blend this color in the crease. With a back and forth motion. And I am going to start building and intensifying that color in the crease area. just want to keep adding color to the crease next I'm going in with the color called Coco Bear so next I'm going in with this color which is Coco Bear this is what it looks like I will be using this is my MAC 217 and as you can see it's a fluffy brush but it also have like that kind of tapered pointy tip and the reason why I choose this brush is because I want to place this color right in the socket area I really don't want this color spreading all over in the crease area because we just use frappe for our transition color and that is a bit lighter than this color so you don't want to do too much of this all over in the crease area so just a tad bit of this on this brush and you can also use another brush which is the 226 which is a crease brush from MAC that's another brush you can use if you have that so I'm going to place this right in the socket area right here in a back and forth motion and I will also be intensifying that color as well so as you can see as I'm gently blending that color it's really staying it's placing the color exactly where I want it which is right in the socket area and with this particular brush it's also helping blend out that color as well but if I start going back and forth it's going to spread the color and that is not what I want I just want this color to stay right in this area so I'm just going to keep building that up a bit. So as you can see, the color is exactly where I wanted it to be placed. Right in the crease 
socket area. So next, I am going in with this color, which is Peach Smoothie. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to apply this as my highlight color. So I'm going to place this right under the brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going back in with the 224 blending brush and I'm just going to blend that color out a bit. So moving on to the fun part now, I am going in with, this is one of Makeup Geek Pigment and this one is in Utopia. And when I tell you guys... I am still actually waiting to see if there is a pigment or an eyeshadow that is comparable or similar to this. This is one of the most unique pigments I've come across. Like, look at this. A jar full of goodness. Like, look at this, for real. It's very unique. Like, Melina and her team did a great job creating this specific I mean all her products I really like up there but this specific pigment mm, as soon as I saw that I immediately placed that in the cart so now I'm going to apply this is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance glitter glue I'm going to take a little of this and apply it all over the lid area So about this much. So with a flat shader brush, this is the Mark 239, I'm going to start applying this pigment onto the lid area. And you want to be very careful with this because it can get all over your face. So you just want to take your time and slowly press that into the lid just keep pressing it into the lid See that color? Gorgeous. And my only issue with her pigments, I'm not sure, but I think she was actually in the process of getting sifters. Like, as you can see, the jars do not have any sifters. So, if you are not careful, this can just be a huge mess so that's my only downfall with the um, actual packaging of the pigments I'm not quite sure if she started using sifters because it's been a while since I've been on her site but I'm just referring from since the last time I placed my order there so next what I'm going to do is go back in with that same sort of fluffy brush which is the 217 and I'm going back in with a little bit of the cocoa beer just a tad bit on the tip of it and then I'm just going right above the edge where I place that pigment and just slightly blend So next I'm going in with this color called Corrupt. And when I tell you guys, this is one of the most pigmented black eyeshadows I've come across. Like, seriously. MAC Carbon has nothing on this. I'm taking a little bit of this on a next clean fluffy blending brush. And I'm just applying that to the outer part of the lid. Just kind of placing that color right there and just slightly blending it inwards and 
a little way into the crease area. I'm not taking it all the way in, just a little, about probably halfway across. And just very lightly start blending that color in. Usually I like to use, where is that brush? I like using like the dual fiber brush and blending that out a bit. And I'm just going to go back in with some of the Coco Bear on that same brush and just blend right on top of the carbon to just soften that color a bit. And again, just slightly blending. Try to avoid blending too much on the glitter because you don't want it all over the face. Eyelash time. So for the eyelash I am using, this is House of Lashes Eyelash. And this one is in the style No Fairy Black. I already apply one coat of my Tarte Mascara on the upper eyelash. So now I'm going to For the inner part of the lower lash line, I'm going back in with Peach Smoothie and I'm just using a smudge brush and applying that about halfway across. Going back in with Coco Bear and apply that to the rest of the lower lash line. For the waterline, I'm going in with MAC Feline Eye Call. So a little tip for helping prevent like your eyeliner from running, you can apply like a preferably matte eyeshadow on top of it. And I am using this is Cura with a very thin tip brush. And I'm just going to press that onto the waterline. And this is going to help prevent that eyeliner from smudging. Next, mascara. So moving on to the face now, I'm going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Light primer and while I am allowing this to settle into my skin I am going to throw a few curls in this here and then I will be back to finish the rest of this look so before I start with the foundation, I am going to conceal these dark spots that I have on my face. I am going to use my Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and this is an NC45. I will be using a brush to apply the concealer.
for the foundation today I will be using this is my matte match master foundation and this one is in the number six and number seven I will be mixing together to set that I will be going in with my studio fix powder plus foundation and this is the compact and this is in NC 45 also from MAC To conceal, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this one is in the color Expresso. So I'm going in with this color and this is from MAC. This one is in the color Peaches. And this is what it looks like. It's like a really nice coral color and it's a matte blush for anyone wondering. On the cheeks. For a bit of a glow, I am going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is in Soft and Gentle. And some alternative to these are the Ruby Kisses Bronzing Powder. This one is in Deep Glow. Deep Glow, and this is what it looks like. Let me just swatch that. So that's kind of like what it looks like. And for those who have like darker skin tone, and you may find that that color seems a bit too light. It have this other one called Bronze Glow. This one is in the color Bronze Glow. And this one is, I believe, a dupe for MAC Golden Deposit. So this is what it looks like. Let's swatch it. And once you really blend it out, you see... It still gives that nice glowy effect. It's not as finely mill as the MAC skin finishes, but those are some great alternatives and it's quite reasonable price wise. It's $4.99 I got it for. So it's a lot cheaper than the MAC skin finish. And let me just do a swatch of this so you can see kind of like the difference. So, you see it's similar, so just a quick, you know, tip for you guys if you're looking for something but don't want to spend that type for the skin finishes that MAC carries. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this right above where I place the blush. And just really blend that out. And please excuse the laughing. That's my son over there on my bed. Cracking up at God alone knows what. He's watching his cartoons on... YouTube so I already apply my apple rose salve on my lip 
and for the lip liner I will be using this is from MAC and this one is the lip pencil in lasting sensation for the lipstick it will also be from MAC and this one is in Vegas Volt and for the lip gloss I am going in with my Milani lip gloss and this one is in Coral Shimmer so that's the name and this is what it looks like before I start applying anything to my lip I am going to use this is from MAC and this is my lip erase in them so I'm just going to apply a tad bit of that on the lip area So here's the completed look and as usual a close up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for viewing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.